Hey guys, it's Chris from Highland Guitars, and here's this week's quick tip for luthiers. Wood grain fillers, how come they don't work? Okay, well, they do work. They just sometimes don't work the way we would like them to. It seems like you have to put down multiple applications of a grain filler in order to completely fill in the wood grain and pore structure. And uh, that can really be an issue with certain species of wood like ash, which has a really pronounced grain structure. You just keep slathering the stuff on, and once it's dry, you notice, well, it's shrinking in. And even though a product will claim to that it doesn't shrink, they do, especially because most of the wood grain fillers that we uh, have available to use are either water-based or solvent-based. So when the water and solvent evaporates out of it, the solids that remain tend to shrink. And what's really frustrating is you can get a perfectly level and smooth surface with your grain filler and then apply multiple coats of a clear coat product over the top. Let it sit for a couple of weeks and then level sand and buff it out to a high gloss shine. And then about a month later, you'll look at it and you can start to see and feel the texture of that wood grain sort of like telegraphing up through your clear coat. And you wonder, wait a minute, I, I thought I put down the grain filler. Why is the grain showing up again? Why is it, why can I feel that texture and, and see it in just the right light? Well, it's because even though it dries to a touch in a couple of hours, it will take a couple of months before it fully cures. And during that time, it's shrinking into the wood grain. And that's why you can start to see it again after you know a month or two down the road. Well, there is a product that I've come across that is absolutely 100% um, shrinkage free. It will not shrink. It's, it, it cures instantly, and once the, uh, the grain filler has fully cured, it, it's done. It's not going to shrink down into the wood any further. So let me bring you in closer, and I'll show you the product, and I'm going to demonstrate applying it to this piece of scrap mahogany. The product I'm talking about is from the folks at Solar Res, and it's part of their, I can't believe it's not lacquer, product line. This is their grain sealer. And grain sealers and grain fillers are, in my mind, they're typically slightly different products. A grain sealer is usually a little bit thinner than a grain filler, and it's used on woods like maple and in some cases mahogany and it does a really good job of plugging up the pores and the grain so that they won't soak up finish. Grain fillers however actually fill the grain and the pores especially in woods like ash and walnut so that the, the top coats will lay directly on the top surface and um, none of it will soak into the wood grain. But this product actually can be used as both a sealer and a filler at the same time. And this product is basically, it is the same as their, I can't believe it's not lacquer clear coat product. The only difference is, is they've added what are known as micro balloons to the liquid. And micro balloons are tiny microscopic spheres and when you see them in their their natural state or <laughs> it's not actually a natural state because they are man-made but when you see them before they're added to the liquid they have a consistency of like um, flour or um, baking soda it's a powder and when you mix it in it it increases the thickness of the liquid so that it's almost like as in this case it's almost like a pancake batter. And you have to thoroughly stir the product up so that you, uh, because those, those micro beads will kind of separate out a little bit from the liquid. But once you mix it all in, you've got this kind of thick, gooey stuff. Now, it's white in the can. And this is important to understand. The uh, micro balloons are white in color, so it's going to be white when mixed in with the liquid. When you spread it out thin, it will clear out. So it will dry clear and you'll be able to see your, your wood grain, um, you know, the pattern of the wood grain. Uh, if you apply it too thick, however, it will cure white. So you wanna make sure that when you apply it, you're applying it pretty thin. And this is a product just like their other um, 
I can't believe it's not like a clear coat in that it is UV curable. So you want to work in a room where you don't have direct sunlight pouring in. You want to make sure that the curtains are closed, the shades are drawn, and you don't have to worry about overhead lighting unless you've got, you know, high intensity UV bulbs in your light fixtures. Most light fixtures aren't going to trigger a cure. But you don't have to worry about it drying as you work with it. It won't dry until you expose it to sunlight. So um, typically what I do is I just use my fingers and I'll you know, get a goop of it on there and then just sort of spread it around on the surface. And as you can see, it's, it's white where it's thick and applied heavily. But as you spread it out, it will clear out and you don't have to worry about the white affecting whatever color you've put down in the first place. Then what I like to do is trowel it and I'll use just a, you know, an old credit card or, um, a, you know, a, a one of those gloss coated business cards. I like to use these credit cards because they have the corners cut off and I get these in the mail all the time. They're really trying hard to get me to join ARP because I've, I'm over 50 years old. But um, what I'll do is I'll just spread it thin and then you can scrape off the excess, put it back in the container. So it doesn't take a lot to do this. And I'll just get it nice and smooth. That way I have less sanding to do later on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside in the sun and cure it. Okay, so I'm just going to take it out into the sun. And all I have to do is expose it for two to three minutes and then it will fully cure. Even after just one application of solar, as I can't believe it's not lacquer grain sealer, I can see that the grain is mostly completely filled in. And I'm going to add a second application just to play it safe. But I've applied that first coat very thin so that when it does cure, it cures clear. If you look here on this side, you can see where I really glopped it over and this stuff cured white. So that's why you don't want to apply it too heavy. Now the number of coats that you're going to apply to a specific piece of wood is just going to depend on the species and um, how open the pore and grain structure is for that particular piece of wood. You know, for, Like I said, for this piece of mahogany, I can probably get away with two applications and I'll have the grain completely filled in. If it were ash, which has a much more open, more pronounced grain and pore structure, I would probably apply several coats, you know, three to four coats to get the grain completely filled in so that it dries clear. Now, if you're going to be painting a guitar a solid color, by all means, you can really slop the stuff on and not have to worry since you're going to be painting it a solid color. But since I want to be able to see the grain structure, um, I'm going to apply just very thin application. Now another way that you can apply the solar as I can't believe it's not lacquer grain filler is to wipe it on but don't use a paper towel or even a cloth because they deposit fibers across the surface. Instead use a coffee filter and just kind of crunch it up and then just apply a little to the surface and then spread it around with the coffee filter. And you can really work it into the grain when you do it this way. Another three minutes in the sun and the grain filler is completely cured. After curing that second application of grain sealer, I'm ready to level sand the surface and get it ready for the final application of the clear coats that I'll be using later on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand the surface with uh, some 220 grit sandpaper. Now watch this. Notice how this product 
powders up as I sand it. That tells you that even after only three minutes, it's completely cured. So if you or someone you care about is experiencing embarrassing shrinkage with your wood grain filler, I highly recommend that you try Solar Res I Can't Believe It's Not Lacquer Grain Sealer. I'm confident that any shrinkage problems you might be experiencing with your wood grain filler today will be a thing of the past tomorrow.